From smuggling themselves in suitcases to hiding in car dashboards, we've compiled a list of the 20 craziest ways that immigrants have tried to cross borders. These methods may seem outlandish, but for many, it's a matter of life and death. We'll take you on a journey through the most bizarre and daring attempts at immigration and the extreme measures that people have taken to escape their poverty, war, and persecution. These are 20 crazy ways immigrants tried to sneak into the country. Number 20. Record Numbers Before we jump into some of the individual ways that people have tried to get into other countries illegally, we need to reinforce the fact that this is not a handful of people trying to do it. Rather, it's people doing it in the thousands or even tens of thousands, if not more. Back in October, a surge in migration from Venezuela, Cuba, and Nicaragua in September would bring a number of illegal crossings to the highest level ever recorded in a fiscal year, according to U.S. Customs and Border Protection. That's right, in 2022, the United States States had record levels of people trying to illegally get in, and that's not the kind of thing you want to hear for multiple reasons. And to be clear, those people had reasons for trying to get into the country. There's been political unrest and instability in parts of Central and South America, and they feel that getting to the United States would help fix their financial situation. Having so many people trying to get through by any means necessary forces the Border Patrol and other government-sanctioned entities to be on their guard 24-7. According to the report from Customs and Border Patrol, people were stopped at the border at various points over 200,000 times just in September alone. For the entire fiscal year, migrants were stopped over 2 million times by border patrols. Now, something needs to be made clear, these are not bad people. The term illegal immigrant is improperly used to try and demonize groups of people, and that's just wrong. These are people who are merely trying to get a better life and know that the current system for getting into the United States is is flawed from the top to the bottom. As a result, they're willing to risk more creative ways of getting into the country. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. There are two stories for the price of one today. First up, in 2016, a man attempted to illegally enter the United States by disguising himself as a car seat. The bizarre and audacious attempt would be captured on camera by U.S. border officials who were astounded to discover the man hidden within the seat. The man had apparently modified his car to make the seat appear functional, even cutting holes in the back to see out of. The attempt ultimately failed, and the man was caught and then deported to Guatemala. This incident is just one example of the extreme lengths that people will go to to cross borders and the ingenuity and creativity they employ to achieve their goals. Secondly, it's been reported that migrants are sneaking into the United States by hiding in the dashboards of cars, a phenomenon known as dashboarder crossing. According to the report, smugglers have been modifying vehicles to hide migrants in the dashboard to avoid detection at border checkpoints. While the practice may seem far-fetched, there have been multiple reports of this taking place in recent years. This underscores the extreme measures that people are willing to take to escape violence and poverty in their home countries. As border security continues to tighten, smugglers and migrants alike are resorting to increasingly creative and dangerous methods to cross the border. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag Sweet Topic. Number 19. Toolboxes. When you're trying to beat Border Patrol, you need to do two things. You need to get into a country in a way that they won't expect, and in a way that'll hold up to scrutiny in the aftermath of a crossing. After all, there's a difference between crossing into a country through its borders and staying there. Given how wide the United States border is, you could potentially cross the border very easily at a place that's unguarded. But then, to reach a place where you can then attempt to gain freedom and live in a nation? That's another thing entirely. The Border Patrol routinely does checks on 
trucks that they feel could be carrying individuals, and they're trained to look high and low to look for spots that they might hide in. An excellent example of this can be found at a time in El Paso when the Border Patrol pulled over a truck and did a basic inspection. And when they did, they asked to look inside of the toolboxes that the driver had, and upon that, they found people stuffed inside of them. In one of the boxes, there were two people, and the reason that this kind of thing is frowned upon goes well beyond the illegality of the incident. One of these boxes was metal in nature and could have literally cooked the person alive, something you'll see a little later. What's more, there's the issue of light, oxygen, and sanitary conditions inside the box. If something or even anything had gone wrong outside of the Border Patrol finding them, the men inside of those boxes could have been seriously hurt, and that would have made their journey moot. Yet, this is only a small taste of what's to come. Number 18. Tractor Trailers some people think that they can be so clever with how they get people across the border, but the problem is that they underestimate the conditions of where they're putting them and fatalities can occur. For example, back in 2017, a truck would be pulled over and the trailer inspected, and when they looked inside of that tractor trailer, they found immigrants inside. The heat of the area mixed with a lack of oxygen and circulation in the box would lead to eight people dying and two more dying the hospital that they were taken to. There were 39 people in total in the box, and that alone is a crime because of how poorly they were treated. The man who transported them faced life in prison due to the death that occurred on his watch, but it's hardly the only time that anything's happened like this. In 2022, the deadliest job in history went down when 53 people died in the back of a tractor trailer run was taking place in Texas when the air conditioning that was meant to keep the trailer cool had actually shut off. An informant noted that the driver had no idea that it had somehow gone off. And because of the Texas heat, the people inside of the trailer cooked to the victims were hot to the touch and suffered from heat stroke and dehydration inside of the box, where temperatures climbed to above 115 degrees. If you think about the last time that you were in 100 degree plus weather, your first instinct was likely to go and seek shade as soon as possible, or to chug as much water as you could to get cooled down again. But for these people, that was not an option. They simply roasted inside of that truck, and dozens of them died as a result. They were seeking safety, and instead they found a slow and tort. Number 17. Mattresses now, I told you earlier that while the United States is a place where many immigrants seek refuge, it's hardly the only country that people try to get into illegally. For example, in 2019, a pair of men tried to get from North Africa to Spain. That's a bit of a journey, but if you prepare in the right way, you could slip right in. As you can guess, though, it did not go to plan. While on their journey, the truck containing the two was pulled over, and when Spanish patrol forces looked at the mattresses that were on the truck, they cut into them and found the two men inside. The two migrants had told the police they each paid $5,100 to a human trafficker to attempt the crossing. The driver of the van fled on foot when agents asked to inspect his cargo. If he had played it cool, he might have been able to get across, but instead, running away makes it clear that you're pretty guilty of something. The two would be taken from the spot and into a holding place. Now, believe it or not, Spain has become the gateway destination for those who are trying to sneak into another place. Many see Spain as the place to go if they're heading for Europe. Both the immigrants and those who traffic them attempt to get into Spain by various means. Mattresses can be a clever one, I'll grant you that, but depending upon the kind of mattress that they they were in, they might have at least had a comfy ride. Then again, depending on what was inside those mattresses, they could have had issues with breathing. But when you consider that many immigrants try to swim their way to Spain and fail in their attempts, perhaps this was the uh, better option. Number 16. A Suitcase this one might sound funny, but I promise you it's no laughing matter. Another incident which took place in Spain occurred when a woman was arrested for trying to take a young man into the country after he was jammed into a suitcase. Now, it is theoretically possible to smuggle someone in a suitcase depending on their size and weight and whatnot. The problem with that attempt, however, is that the young man in this case did not have the oxygen needed to stay conscious, and so when he was found, he was not in a good state. Thankfully, he was treated not long afterwards, and the woman carting him around was arrested, but this could have easily been worse. Much worse, in fact. It could have ended in a fatality had things not been broken up by security at the airport. But let this be another piece of proof 
proof, if you will, about how far these immigrants are willing to go to break into another country. They're willing to be shoved into a suitcase in the hopes that they'll be carried across the border without a hitch. Getting into the suitcase is hard enough, but then you have to be incredibly quiet and hope that the person lugging you around is very careful. After all, you don't want to be injured on your way to freedom. But the last thing you think that you'll need overtly to say is, please make sure I have enough oxygen. That's what happened here. The young man was lucky to be found when he was and given immediate medical treatment. Number 15. Stuffed. Perhaps you're still not believing me when I tell you that people are willing to do anything and everything to try and get to a country that might treat them better than they were before. Let's continue with our Spanish adventures by telling you a tale of what happened back in 2019. At one of the Spanish enclaves, a truck would be pulled over and two people were crammed inside of the dashboard under the backseat of a Hyundai station wagon attempting to cross from Morocco. That's right, these two people were crammed inside this vehicle and one of them was shoved into the dashboard of the ride. The reason that they were found was because they had a heartbeat detector that was used to discover them. A very clever machine, if I should be so bold to say. Police were forced to cut parts of the vehicle due to how tightly the migrants were crammed inside, which is honestly quite horrifying. Just think about how tightly those two must have been stuffed in there if they needed to be cut out by officers who were trying to save their lives. And make no mistake, their lives needed to be rescued because of their situation. The pair were found to have symptoms of sweating, numbness, and difficulty walking due to exposure of toxic gases that were expelled from the car and the tininess of the space in which they were rescued. That's right, they were slowly being poisoned because of where they were put in the vehicle. That should show you one very clear thing, that the coyotes, or smugglers, that try to take people across the border care very little for the condition of the person, and it's all about the dollars for them. Number 14. Secret Compartments now we'll go to 2022 and show you another recent smuggling attempt that was foiled by Border Patrol. A flatbed truck was pulled over for an inspection when they brought in the dogs and they quickly picked up the scent of people, but they were not in an obvious place. Instead, they were in a hidden compartment in the flatbed trailer. And by they, I mean 17 people stuffed into the trailer. And that's just inhumane. That same day, another truck was pulled over and another 12 immigrants were discovered in the sleeper compartment. That's 30 people being stuffed into two trucks and not even getting close to freedom. But they were very close to death given how well they were stuffed into the spots. It's not unfair to say that these people are basically treated like sardines. They're stuffed into very different tin cans via the trucks and are transported like they're nothing more than animals. However, they are people and should be treated that way. Yet for some of them, the reward of potentially making it to America is worth the risk of being tightly packed into a place, overheated, and then eventually being caught by border patrol. It may seem odd to our eyes, but to them it's the only way to go. Think of the desperation that they must go through to even think about an option like this, let alone go through it. And remember that the next time you hear someone mock one of these people, they're not to be mocked, they should be pitied. Number 13 freight train. Back in 2017, Germany was a place where many people were trying to escape to, especially when they were coming from places like Austria. You see, there were wars that were raging in places like the Middle East and Africa, and as a result, people from Somalia, Nigeria, and the Ivory Coast, or even Syria, were trying to get into places like Germany so they could be safe. In one case, German police found 12 people hiding on a freight train near Austria as they tried to get into the country. On the surface, it doesn't sound like a bad way to get into a place, as trains can be quite comfortable, but don't forget, this was a freight train, and they couldn't exactly get comfy places to go in and relax during that ride. As a result, many of them were freezing cold when they were found, as they did not have the proper clothing for the place they were in. One of the people was so badly injured that they couldn't even walk without help. So even when you have a proper way to get into the country illegally, you're still putting yourself in danger, and thankfully nobody was hurt after they were found by the police. And if you want to know how they were found, well, they used a gadget that detects body temperature. That just goes to prove how advanced that the various Border Patrol places have gotten over the years. They'll find you via body temperature, your heartbeat, or just your sweat, and common sense by looking in places that might hide humans. Number 12. Wrong Way, Wrong People Now this story's a little bit funny, even though it is still very sad. 
Two immigrants from Africa had found a way to get into France, and they were going to try to get further away from the place to reach Great Britain. Their plan? They found some British people and broke into the luggage box that was on top of their vehicle. If you've ever looked at those boxes, they can be big enough to stuff some people in if you're careful. Now, obviously, it's not the intended function of the box to house people, but only items. The joke was on them, though, because when they exited the box about an hour into their trip, they realized the hard way that the couple was not going back to Britain. They were vacationing in France, so they actually took them deeper back into the country. And that's only part of the hilarity, because when people realized that they were transporting people, they lost it. Mainly because they knew they had stuff in the luggage box that was not human-shaped, so the man begins yelling at the two, calling them all sorts of names, and trying to find out what happened to their stuff. The couple naturally filed a complaint against the immigrants, and the police were called in to handle the situation as a whole. But the biggest mistake that they made was they assumed that they knew where the couple was going. Now, I'm not saying that they would have made it into Britain if they'd paid a little more attention, but at the least, they wouldn't have ended up deeper in France. Number 11. Landing Gear now here's another perfect example of how far people are willing to go to get away from the country that they're born in or desired to leave. One man from Guatemala attempted to get out of the country by sneaking his way onto an airplane that was headed to Miami. But it wasn't that he snuck onto the plane via the luggage compartment or somehow found a seat that had not been taken. He snuck on via the landing gear and literally hung on for dear life throughout a two and a half hour journey that would follow. And before you say, well, that's not too hard, you have to remember a few things. First, they're flying at high altitudes in a place that's not meant to be ridden in, and due to that, the temperature that he would have been exposed to was below zero. That's not really the kind of thing you're meant to endure without proper clothing, and as you could guess, he did not have that. He was easily found when they landed in the United States and would then be taken to the hospital for treatment. Number 10. Wooden Compartment for the people trying to smuggle in illegal immigrants, they know there's no shortage of them, so they can take bigger risks to get them across the border. In one case, in 2019, outside of Poteet, an officer pulled over a truck that had an odd trailer. It was considered odd because there seemed to be something built into it made out of wood. When the officer opened up the wooden compartment, he found 14 people inside of it, 12 adults and two children. They were all crammed inside the place that was clearly made by hand. Even the officer admitted that he'd never seen anything like that before. And what's more, the compartment clearly was not good for the people inside, because as the officer did the inspection, someone was knocking on the wood to clearly signal they needed help. Thankfully, no one was seriously injured during the event, though a lot of them were hungry. Number 9. Wood Shavings if the last one didn't strike you as being creative, then this one definitely will. Because why make a box that you could put people in when you could just have the people hide within a pile of wood shavings? I'm serious, this actually happened. It was outside of a port of entry when an inspection of a large trailer led to reveal that someone was hiding in a massive mound of wood shavings. They almost didn't catch it, but during a secondary inspection, they would use an x-ray machine and saw something within the shavings that shouldn't be there, a human being. Given the dangers of inhaling such shavings over time, the man was taken to the hospital, so it may have been a clever place to hide a person, but it could have also easily ended in another fatality. Number 8. Fleeing the Scene Here's one that did not have a happy ending in many ways. A police officer pulled over a car for inspection, and when they did, a bunch of people fled the car and began going in different directions. That alone would indicate that they weren't supposed to be there and were trying to avoid getting captured. The problem was that some of the people ran into traffic and some of them got hit by a tractor trailer driver who apparently was on some illegal things. Two of the immigrants got hit and had to be taken to the hospital and the others that fled were not immediately found. So imagine that, you risk everything to get into a new country and then you end up getting caught because you fled an officer and got hit by a truck. Not exactly what they were planning, no doubt. Number 7. Stuffed Again 
Here's another one to imagine. Imagine that you're trying to flee a country for one reason or another, and you're told that someone has a foolproof way to get you across the border. The only way to do it, though, is to be stuffed into a secret compartment of a car and then just simply hope for the best. Well, in 2016, it did not work out for the best, because not only was the compartment not safe to have a person in, and not only did the people not make it across the border, they were so stuck in the spot that they had to be cut out. So yeah, the compartments that they were stuck in were so tight and suffocating that the four people couldn't even get out on their own, and they were literally begging to be cut out by the police so they could feel their extremities again. Number 6. Engine no, there was not a person hiding inside of a car engine, that, that wouldn't work for numerous reasons, but there was someone who tried to get into Spain by hiding behind a car engine. It may seem impossible, but there is photo proof of this actually happening. Someone found enough space in a car to put a person near the engine without killing them, though I will admit that they got pretty darn close to doing that. That was not the only person who was found in the car. Another immigrant was found shoved into a compartment behind the back seat. Both of them had oxygen deprivation and as a result had to be treated at a local hospital. The phrase, very uncomfortable ride, does come to mind here. Number 5. Waste Containers now, as I've already shown you time and again, people will go to any length to try to conceal themselves and get into another country. But would you be willing to be buried in garbage and waste to get through the border? Well, some people in Spain were willing to do that. After a massive search by border authorities, they found that five people were hiding in waste containers in various ways. One of them was buried under glass bottles, and another was hiding in a bag that contained ash, and toxic ash at that. The authorities were able to get them all out without finding any casualties, but they were the first to admit that these were some very dangerous places to be in. The thing about trash is that while you're not in danger of it hurting you in the short term, when it's all around you and you have to breathe the particles in that it emits, that can cause some serious problems over time. Number 4. Fleeing the Scene Again Remember when I showed you about the people fleeing the scene and getting away? Well, this group of people was not so lucky. In Texas, a truck would be pulled over, and the moment that it was, 15 people burst out of the truck and tried to run away. As a result, the police had to rush and get them all, and they were able to do just that. Ironically, the only person that was not caught was the truck driver, who somehow managed to blend into the crowd and get away. The fact that there were 15 people hiding illegally in the truck is telling enough, but the fact that none of them escaped, that's another matter entirely. You just have to give it to the officers who were able to track them all down before they could fully get away. Number 3. Clown Car have you ever seen people try to squeeze a group into a car and get a world record? Or that old joke about a clown car having more compartments that fits the clowns in than you realize? Well, in this video, you're going to see 20 immigrants somehow hid inside of one car. And it definitely makes you wonder how the heck did it happen? It really doesn't make any sense, and yet they're able to get all of those people in there, so they were clearly able to do it somehow. To say that you shouldn't try this one at home is an understatement. That was dangerous in every way which mattered, yet once again, also shows how far people are willing to go when they're desperate. Number 2. Breaking and Entering when you're already committing a crime by illegally entering the country, what's another one to add to the top of that list? Back in 2016, the UK was dealing with a strike which led to many trucks and ferries being stranded and unguarded. As a result of that, immigrants would rush to these places and attempt to board them so that when the strike lifted and the trucks and ferries moved again, they would be let in without much of any issue because there would be so many vehicles needing to get into the place that they couldn't all be checked. Police and other forces had to be diligent to get them all out and caught, and it was not easy. Some did manage to sneak in, but that's the clever case of using other issues to make them ignore your own. Number 1. Car Seat and lastly, we have one final attempt to try and make a getaway by blending into the ride that they were in. A man had literally been transformed into a car seat in order to attempt to fool the police. Obviously, they were not fooled, but the effort was appreciated by officers. The car seat itself was cut so that only the padding and frame would exist. The man got into position, had everything placed onto him, and then someone within the smuggling team actually sat on the seat to sell the illusion that there was nothing going on. Of course, when 
when the guy was found out, the police had to actually help him out of the position he had willingly put himself into. That's all from the realm of immigration and the many, many ways that people have tried to sneak into one country or another. Are you surprised by how many immigrants are trying to get into countries beyond the standard way? And which of these practices of theirs surprised you the most? Do you know of another unorthodox way that people have tried to sneak into places? Let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool things that are popping up on your screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.